Sansa is held hostage by the Lannisters and forced to call her father a traitor. The return of Ned's remains for a proper burial is one of the demands that his son Rob Stark, the new king in the north, tells Alton Lannister to deliver to Queen Cersei Lannister in King's Landing. Cersei scoffs at Rob's declaration of independence when his demands are read to the small council, but Tyrion insists that they should at least return the bones of Rob's father. When Catelyn Stark approaches the camp of Renly Baratheon, his wife Marjorie Tyrell says she is sorry for her loss, meaning Ned. When Catelyn Stark and Peter Baelish both approach the army camp of Renly Baratheon in the Stormlands for negotiations, Baelish delivers Ned's bones to Catelyn, in a box escorted by a pair of silent sisters. The delivery is a gesture of goodwill by Tyrion, in the hope that this would smooth the way to achieving the liberation of his brother Jaime from Stark captivity. Catelyn mourns over Ned's remains. Sir Roderick Castle berates Theon Greyjoy for his betrayal when Theon takes Winterfell, reminding him that Ned raised him among his family. Theon responds, among them, but not one of them. Sir Roderick laments what if Ned were alive to see this but Theon tells Roderick that Ned is dead. As Bran and Rickon plead for Roderick's life and the Ironborn urge Theon to execute Roderick, Roderick assures Bran and Rickon that he's off to see their father. Beyond the wall, John reveals to the wildling Egret who he is, that Ned Stark is his father, and his family has the blood of the first men in their veins like Egret and the other wildlings do as the Starks and wildlings are both descendants of the first men.